It seems that they expect nothing but the finest from you, Mr. Shravity. <laughs> Also, I want to apologize for the lack of Wednesday curbside action. I mean, it's supposed to be no days off 2021, you know, so, yeah, sorry, we took a day off. What's this day on grass shit? What's this bullshit? I don't fucking care. I put that ladder on for $40. Everybody's offering me 30 one dude sent a message and said 30. I sent one back and said 40. He didn't say anything else. One dude sent me a message and said 20. I didn't even respond. I just blocked him. <laughs> hey, look. They're fairly sturdy. See, there's these little holes if you pull this plastic out. I hate to have to do it because then we got to pop it back in there, but see that bolt in there? There's, these are bolted to that. Can you see that little chandelier chain up there that runs up? Front? That's bolted holding them down in there. So these dudes are fairly sturdy. Someone asked if Mr. Scrappity thinks he could climb over the top of them. Well, we can definitely get a better foothold in these than we could in the other ones. So, I don't think we're going to have any issues. Took the motor and stuff out of the dryer. I've been collecting the heating element stuff, whatever that shit is. I don't know what it is. Um, I ain't fooling with the washing machine. That thing did not work. That's still the ugliest fan I've ever seen. Um, that's the bottom ring to that copper fire pit. What else did we bust apart yesterday? I don't know. We still got that grill. It's casty cast. Um, that little bin full of like ballasts and stuff and whatnot had a few little. It's an actual brass toilet handle. You don't see a whole lot of. Everything's plastic nowadays. Um, yeah, so. That's that. That lawnmower does run. So whoever said, but it starts right up, it does start right up. Man, somebody is lucky that it did not rain or you would be going to school with wet shoes. Yeah, it runs. It just needs a new set of wheels. Some rent and roll type action, I guess. Uh, nobody on the flower pots yet. Welcome to Thursday. So I went ahead and unposted the iron right. I'm going to paint it. we got to go to Home Depot and buy some screws and, like, two boards and a couple cans of paint. Uh, What's-her-face in there says I shouldn't do it red. I want to do it red so it kind of looks like a Coca-Cola machine. So I think I'm going to paint it red, and it's going to be a fish tank stand. This is Bob's new house. But, um, that said... I think while we're there, what we need to do is... I'm, Windows disgusting, ain't it? Sorry. Uh, I have multiple people that leave money under the doormat occasionally. So what I was thinking is we need some type of locky boxy sort of thing we can screw to the front of the house out there. And what popped into my mind first was don't they get them little like mount on the wall mailboxes, you know? Little flat things. Sort of just looks like a mailbox too. So nobody would really expect anything like, oh, or suspect anything like, oh, 
Uh, there's money in there. It just looked like a mailbox, right? So, uh, we need something we can put a lock on it with a little slit that can, like, drop our stuff in, you know? Um, yeah, we gotta get a couple cans of paint, and what the hell else was I thinking? Oh, on top of that, what we need to do is the next time we find a big box of, like, computery, wiry type of sort of stuff, we need to find one of them little round webcam-y looking things, and just, like, screw it to the front of the, under the eave up there, you know? So people, like, because if somebody thinks they're on camera, they're a lot less likely to, like, snatch your shit. Not that I've ever had it happen, and I've had nobody snatch any money yet, but... I don't know. Just a added security feature, I guess. <laughs> so, we're looking for a trash-found webcam sort of bally camera. I could be something that looks like it's out of the inside of a quickie mart. I don't care. We need some sort of a camera, a faux... Um, what do they call that? A, um, a, a, a moissanite camera? Um, uh, <laughs> um, um, couple cans of red paint, two slats, box of drywall screws. I think that's all I need. I'm not a real, I'm not really the type of man that asks for much, huh? Anyway, okay, bye. Had somebody supposed to pick up some closet shelves yesterday. They failed to do so, so they're still available. And uh, can you see it over there? We got that ladder sitting out there. It's supposed to be getting picked up this morning. Focus. Yes, place that money. Take your ladder. We don't see no 20 foot extension ladders, do we? Now, I know we were just talking about that ladder laying there, but... Now we're talking about how Scravity finally got us $40. On today's edition, Mr. Scravity finishes building his sideboards, and I bought me one of those guys. It's a locking letterbox. So, I figure instead of having 14 people placing money under the doormat, we'll just have this little locking letterbox thing attached to the house there, and they can just slip my funds inside of that. What do you think? And, yeah, what, what you think about that? I think I'm going to have some of them dollars for myself. Um, um, <laughs> uh, uh, and I bought two cans of red paint. Apple red. Glossy type. For, uh, the uh what you call it the iron right and we're gonna paint it red so it looks like a coke machine and then we're gonna and then we're gonna let bob live on it look look they came they finally came i ordered a set of pumas i've been waiting on my gym shoes for a week now um these are great boots but they're they're water, these boots are waterproof, so along with keeping the water out, they, they tend to keep the sweat in, so they're not ideal for everyday use. Are you my little lumberjack back here holding on to that stuff? Baby foot action. Can you climb up? Here. Okay, I gotta go. I want a juice box. We got the OG looking suede ones. They kind of look like airwalks, don't they? I like them. They come with a set of white strings, too. I don't know. I just needed some gym shoes, man. Do you want this? Don't just scatter that Help. stuff. I gotta go. What? Oh. Hey, let me see that. <laughs> If they were, if they were a little bit bigger. <laughs>
<laughs> it looks like you've done a spectacular job on your sideboards, Mr. Scrappity. Thank you, Finger Man. You see that little gap up there? See where it's gappy? Gaping? Gaping gappy? See where it's all gaping and gappy? Right here? See? There. That's so you can see that third brake light. And so nobody's like, oh, your third brake light's covered up. And also, if we have anything long, like say a 20 foot extension ladder, then we can still slide it right through here. Hypothetically speaking, probably not, but uh, the thought was there <laughs> that we could still slide stuff and lay it on top of the roof, you know? I don't know. Uh, somebody was asking if Mr. Scrappity would be able to climb up and over those things. I don't know. They're awfully tall, aren't they? Hmm. I wonder if he'll be able to. Did you mean something like that? It's a big red iron ray. <laughs> I don't know. Bob's gonna live up on top of there. I think it looks okay. Whatever. Thanks for depositing your money in my little locking box. I think that'll work out better than having multiple people stick stuff under the doormat. Parent pickup time. Hey, what do you say we go test out these new sideboards, huh? Scoops. Slot machine time. Place your bets now, ladies and gents. How much is inside? Scoop loop. We'll count that too. <coughs> Did I say scoops? Let's grab a small piece of string while we're at it. And we'll glove up. Oh, it's Whittle, like me. Get 
get your narrow ass in there. Was that? It's a whole bunch of electronic -y stuff in a paper bag that has gotten all wet. So it's going to require multiple trip type action. What size are those furnace filters? They're still in the plastic. Twenty by twenty by one. Please stay strong, little bag. Okay, what's in the Sylvania box? They're a lighting company, are they not? Just bulbs. Yep. Okie dokie. Electronic gadget type scoops. Hmm. Looks like they've been sitting outside, but I bet we could wipe them off and use them. By use them, I mean sell them. We should have put a rope around this thing too. Let's just take two of them. I have one at the house already. Now we have a set of three. you see that new sticker? Cutting tails. Why are you going around me, man? I'm... White squirrel. Check him out. Ah, copyright. White squirrel. White squirrel. 
albino squirrel scoop look at him crazy looking thing anyway let's go scraping the white squirrel has blessed us It's a doji bathtub. I swear it sounds like we got something in one of the tires. But... I think it might just be a rock. Anyway forward cutting tails all that type stuff scoops whatever you want to call them it's a canister rack I don't see a whole lot of these guys where do they hide the cord at on this dude um, where's cord where's cord there it is okay get across without getting squished it's a day of many tails onward there's definitely something in a tire and it sounds more tacky than ticky so I'm gonna say it's metal um, rocks have more of a ting and metal has more of a tang I don't know T.T. Ta-Ta, didn't you learn any of that in music class? You just gotta listen for the sound of the notes. And the notes I'm hearing are, we're made out of metal. You should really stop and have a look, Mr. Scrappity. That's what we're gonna do. And you know what I was thinking about doing? I was lucky enough to catch a PayPal for my birthday. So, which is... Oh, look who's sitting over there. <laughs> it's our favorite buddy. <laughs> he's, he's posted up in the parking lot over there. See him? Oh, let's look. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? There you are. That's a rock. Okay. I might be talking completely out of my ass. Because there's nothing in any of these tires, is there? Unless we're parked right on top of it. But anyway, what I was thinking about doing was uh, taking that PayPal for my birthday and buying me a new Sawzall. So we could saw it all. Mainly this beer keg that's been driving me nuts sitting in my barn for the past week or so. Or two, I don't know. How long have we had that thing? It's been a minute. You want to see the boy? He got a whole lot of room left there, doesn't he? He put a few things on. Let's go pick up what he left behind. Wow, he's really slipping, ain't he? What's that? Is that? A washer? Dryer? Something? It's sitting right here, dummy. Okay. I guess we'll throw it in our wagon. Whatever. Fucking geezer! <laughs> Fuck. 
geriatric fucking bitch. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, whatever I can find there. Huh? Not recently. It's, you know, springtime coming around. They should start putting them out. So, as soon as I get them, I'll start piling them up there. <laughs> All right, you been good though. Yeah, staying healthy. All right, you too. Yeah, good here. All right. Well, you have a good one. Yeah, y'all take care. All right, good to see. You. That was the bike guy, in case it wasn't obvious. All right, now I know what I'm doing. Now I got a plan. All right, let's put a rope over that doggy bathtub there. Let's use a yellow one. We need to get rid of all our rope except for the yellow stuff. All right, locked and loaded. Oh, what's any of this? Coax? We don't want no coax. All right, scoops. Look what we got over here. It's a rear end, but we're gonna leave it for that old bastard because I get enough rear end from his mom. You. Man, the old fart is seriously slacking. I'm telling you. I think there was a lamp over here. I do not want the tomato cage. Scoops. Steel or aluminum.
Uh, where's the magneto? There's one. He's a keeper. Oh, that one's just steel. But I guess we could take it anyway, huh? We got this new fancy wagon with these great big sides on it. some rope over that. Yeah, you know, even Pops called me today and said, oh, them things look a lot higher. I don't think you're going to be able to climb over top of those. I don't know, man. I think he might be right. Just kidding. If scrapping doesn't ever pan out for me, maybe we can join the circus. What do you think? timey scrapper we're getting we're getting you good today what he do just leave the neighborhood time ride with me we're just going two or three houses up here we passed something not certain what it was here a couple of tails if anything let's get them <laughs> I found a dolly. <laughs> Thank you. Seriously, thank you. Now we can film the cutting in half of a beer keg. Fuck you looking at? I'm talking to my telephone, dude. Okay. You guys sit up there. Let me get this stupid pant leg off from around my neck i'll be so glad when this face mask thing is over and done with i've been wearing the reaper's pant legs for about a year we, she took the one end out of the explorer and washed it for me the other day it's the first time it's been washed the one out in the truck here ain't never seen a washing machine well when it was a pant it seen a washing machine but 
since it's been Mr. Scrappity's face mask. No. Find my keys. Let's try to finish this. We're pretty much done. There's uh, one neighborhood we have yet to do. And then the rest of it's just kind of, we circle back through as we're heading out. So, I was fixing to say it looks like we're going to get wet, but... The vessel might be able to finish the tour before we get too far out to sea. Although sporting that new sticker on the back, we fly a many a flag now, so. International waters are no problem. adjust if necessary okay it's gonna be necessary Grab a piece of string. Oh, we can reach it. They're just steel, I believe. Oh, yeah. Steelies. Steely Dan. Are you re reeling in the scraps there, Steely Dan? Stowing away the scoops. Um, wonder if we can get that one with a bungee. Or 
Where is my Benji? Oh, I only got one. Filling her up. Scandinavian U-turn. We just seen a gentleman setting out a tricycle. It's hard to tell condition from a distance, but it's definitely a scrappy bit. Wonder what all this stuff is he's got. Is it garbage? It looks like garbage. Is it the curb? Hmm. It has no seat on it. It's a lamp, I think. I don't know. It's a scrappy bit. Forward. It's trolling motor Tommy. Hey, it looks like a nice one. Well, it's missing the, the blade. Surely that can be replaced. Prop, is that what they call them? Trolling motor scoop. That's it, I'm done. I'll see you back at the barn. And we're back. What do we got? What did we get? Let's see what's in the magical mystery box. It... Sorry, Mr. Bash Tracker. It didn't sound like tools. It sounds plasticky to me. Arts and crafts. Um, remember the box we found one day that had teeth in it? Do you think it's full of teeth? I don't know. Dun, dun, dun. No peeking. What is it? It's paints. It is arts and crafts. We were right, kind of. I don't know. That's a handy dandy little craftsman toolbox, though, is it not? Uh, okay, so that was Thursday. We got part of a dryer and then a front load dryer and a water tank and a grill and a couple of chairs and a doji bathtub um, uh, for the for the fuzzy chonky ones you strap them in there and hose them down uh, booster bath yes it is daddy yay daddy is home okay i gotta go little man requires my assistance it's a celebration. Daddy's home. I almost forgot. I would like to say thank you again. Cool beans. Now I can cut stuff. It would have made the sideboard action go a lot quicker. Because I had to use a handsaw for them things. And I had a couple small ones. I had a coping saw too. But it broke. So. 
Uh, well, it didn't break. The blade broke, and I don't have any coping saw blades, so I'm coming. I'm stick this in my barn. They're buried in the laundry room. Clothes baskets. Clothes baskets are in the laundry room. Anyway, yeah, cool. We'll come out and cut some stuff up tomorrow. Yeah, see ya. The only saw I had to, to do any cutting with is this thing. And it's pretty much a genuine antique, but it works. It's got more teeth than I do. So, yeah, that's what we made our sideboards with. And I actually went and bought screws, and this time I bought exterior screws. So they won't, like, rust out like a regular drywall screw. I gotta get that lock off my stool. You keep your shit locked up, Mr. Scravity? No. Okay, um, I'm going inside now. Did you have fun? I had fun. Thank you for the sawzall. And, uh, Thank you for the sticker. Pretty cool, huh? Get you some of that. I think I'm going to keep that one for myself. Thanks, brother. That guy's still looking for an oven door. I scared you. I'm sorry. Did I scare you too?